Shut up and sit down. Hey, you scallywags! It's another time for an unboxing video. We've got a few things to unpack here, so stay tuned and see what all the surprise and things and stuff's all about. You get to see it right here, right now, on Skillywags TV. Ta-ta! Hey, you Skillywags. Right, so we've got some stuff to open up. Here is a package from China. It's quite soft. No box from the feel of things unless... Nope. Don't think there is. It's just... Oh, I think I know what it is, though. Yep. Kind of see it through. It goes vroom, vroom. The second one of these that I had ordered is here. Red and white bike from another company. Quite, quite similar, but slight differences. Um, color, of course, make brand. No box here as an example. The other one seems, I think a bit more premium. Although there are these added bits here on the red one, some, you know, little I don't know, pegs coming out on the side and yeah, they both look quite good though. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe the wheels are a bit bigger. Double wheeling and dealing. Get two characters on this. Yeah. I mean, good price for both of them anyway. So it's, let's just try with a uh, size there. See? Yeah. I don't know about the same. Still don't know if they kind of if they're the right to the right scale. This thing is a bit more stiff than the other one. So you can put it upright. See this is loose. Like a lady or gentleman of the streets. Really good for the price. Can't really complain. Um let's see. Yeah, let's stand up. All Hell's Fifth Company against um, this. It looks good. Can't complain for the price as well. Really good stuff. On to the next. And here we have something from Hobby Link Japan. Now, this has been on my uh, list for a bit. I don't pre-order, but didn't get it delivered for uh, a while. As we open it up. I think this is the last thing I'm going to get from there, really. Shipping and all customs and things like that cost way too much. Way, way too much. And yes, as expected. This is Creator Fields. Number 57, Armoured Puppet, Oni Flame. Sexy cyborg ninja doing his thing. Cool little figure. Tiny. For the box, you. Uh, let me just crack this open. For the back, for the box, uh, the size of the box, it's actually quite small, the figure itself, once you put it all together. Do love the packaging. Hobby Link Japan do may, uh, uh, send it out in really secure packaging. Here you go. Oh, look at that box. What a big box for such a small fella. Yeah, this is like a, a ninja version. There are different ones, like industrial and samurai type things, I think. Uh, but they're quite expensive for what they are, really. Don't know if I'll pick up any others. Let's see. Now, here is... Um, I think I know what this one is. One I've been waiting for, Oop, little bike. Oh, come on, come up, fella. There you go, stay there. And you, you can stay up there too. Oh, crap, go away. And let's just hope it's the one anyway. Packaging's not great. I mean, it's okay. 
Ah, yeah. My first Acid Rain Field Vanguard. So, quite likely that I'm going to write, do a video on this one straight away because I want to open him up and see what he's like because I've never had an Acid Rain figure. Um, well, not a 118 one anyway. The smaller B25 ones before. Look at that. All the stuff you can get. Oh, can he wait? Now we've got another box. This one is from China as well. You get all good stuff from there. And yes, this is a, a mech. Random mech. I've got that's uh, put all different parts to it. Modular, you can buy different kits, bash them, put them together to make all these cool things. See, so look at all the, the cool stuff you get there. Yeah, I think I'll do this this guy soon as well. Looks quite fun, like Lego, but not V Link Mecha. Look at all that stuff. Well, that was a uh, mediocre attempt at unboxing stuff. Such a simple thing to do, yet not very well executed, I'd say. Anyway, it was nice to see you all and hope you come back for more on Skellywag TV! Oh, wow. Someone help! This is another special unboxing thing of that, a uh, special uh, complete edition. Oh, little fella fell down, little monkey hanging from the iron thing. And this little bike should move over here, uh, maybe just over there a bit. And here is the Witcher Wild Hunt, uh, Witcher 3 complete edition on the Nintendo Switch, here's the side, and here is the other side, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition. He is writing on the back, a whole world to explore at home and on the go, because it's on the Switch. You can do both at home, and you can do it outside with your Switch. To take this enormous story with you wherever you go until the battery dies and then you have to charge it again. Here is some other things at the bottom. Now we shall open it up with a toothpick so that the box does not go funny and we cannot close it again or it does close but there will be a marking because of the pen. Here we shall see what is inside. This is the standard uh, box of the Nintendo Switch game, and here we have the special contents and nothing more. This is a cardboard which has some thing there and CG Project Red written on the back. And here we will open the back or the bottom, sorry, and then see what's inside. Here is Dear Gamer, welcome to a massive open world filled with stories that touch the soul, unlike their new game Cyberpunk 2077. This has got stuff in it that is good, unlike Cyberpunk 2077. Although I have not played it yet, I probably will try it once it goes down in price. But you can get this in the meantime because it is good. And there is the back of that. And here is some stickers for the Witcher. This is what he wears, the emblem around his neck. And here is something. Oh, it's a booklet. Oh, the Witcher uh, Universe Compendium. Let's see what's inside. The first page, we have table of contents and what you can expect to see from inside. But we will look right now, ancient times and stuff to read. You can pause it wherever you like. I will just go through here quickly, the races and people and stuff. Here is another one with the witches, their training and rule in society. Read at your pleasure. Now here is another thing, 
Oh, it is the best of the best, Gerald. Now we have here some pictures of the people in there and stories of them. Next, we have this one. It is the witch's previous deeds. And the next page is some other stuff of gameplay you can pause. And this is the end of the credits. And here we have a map of the Witcher that is signed. And we shall open it. It is in color. But you will probably not use this as you have a map inside the game. Unless you like to use a map whilst you are playing. And make it feel somewhat more immersive. Using an actual map. But probably unlikely. Let's close this and that is the end.